Hey guys, it's Roscoe on Space Coach today. It's been about a week now that the Tesla Model 3 has been available to order and it's been doing absolutely fantastically. The last update I heard was I think it's 276,000 pre-orders and we're going to be getting the most updated figure today, I believe, for the first week. Elon said that it's been wildly successful, more so than they even dreamed to imagine, you know, because they thought it'd get one quarter to one half of the pre-orders that they did. Now obviously there will be some slippage on those. I mean even say a 50% take up ratio which would probably be very low. That's still a huge amount of business. And um, those pre-orders, I mean they're worth up to about 10 or 11 billion dollars if they were all fulfilled of course. <clears throat> Now, <laughs> the other companies, obviously, they're starting to realise that, um, OK, we sold a couple of hundred thousand Leafs and um, what's the other one uh, that Toyota do, uh, the Leaf? I forget the name of the Toyota vehicle, come to me, you know, and um, Tesla's sold that in like a couple of days. 300,000 orders plus it's probably going to be when the new figures are announced. Of course, I mean... The Bolt, it comes to market before the Tesla. Uh, th that is fine. There's a place for both. I think the Bolt styling means it's not going to be as successful as the Tesla. Um, because it's still kind of too much looking like a traditional electric car. A little bit boxy, you know, that sort of thing. Same with the Leaf. Um, but obviously the Tesla's got that incredible uh, design team, Franz von Holthausen and everybody. So that just looks like an amazing car. The um, head of Nissan is saying it's a great idea that Tesla's got this new car. Essentially, they're going along with the old argument that competition's good for everyone. Someone comes up with a new product that forces everyone else to improve. And that's certainly been the case with Tesla. Obviously, the other manufacturers are very slowly starting to move towards doing EVs of their own. Um, <clears throat> some com countries are obviously thinking of phasing out uh, petrol cars, like the Netherlands for instance is thinking of phasing out sales of petrol cars by 2025. They will have to go to electric or hybrid, or hydrogen even, or whatever by that point in certain markets. It looks like Elon, <clears throat> excuse me, looks like Elon is indeed helping to accelerate um, mass transport away from fossil fuels and towards more sustainable types of energy systems, such as battery storage, solar, what have you. We also had some news on the uh, most recent delivery figures for Tesla Motors. Now, they'd guided for about 16,000 for Q1. Uh, they came in a little bit under that. I think it was about 14,800 or so. It was about 11 or 1,200 under their guidance figure. This is still about a 45% increase on Q1 2015. Now, they delivered 12,000 and change Model S's, and 2,400 Model X's, and that is why the number was um, lower than expected. Um, those supply issues we'd heard about continued through January and February really impacted their deliveries. They didn't manage to get up to their 750 X's a week build rate until the last week of March and so there were probably several hundred um, Model X's perhaps maybe up to a thousand they were completed but not yet delivered to their owners and so that also affected the Q1 figures they will show up in Q2 of course so anyway guys that's just a few little more bits of Tesla news for you and the Model 3. It also looks like the um, the matte black version um, that we saw on one of the cars. It's proved to be quite popular, so they're thinking of making that one of the standard colours. I didn't think that the other two colours um, were usual Tesla shades. Also, that red, it looks a bit different from the standard Tesla red, I might be mistaken. And that was like that champagne silvery gold one, that was absolutely beautiful. What else we've heard is um, people have been commenting on the steering system and the lack of gauges and all that sort of thing because obviously it's the steering wheel and a touchscreen. There's none of that stuff that tells you all your information that's right behind the wheel. And um, people have been questioning this and Elon has essentially said, ah, this is not the final version. This is for part two of the reveal. It will look like a spaceship when you see the final steering system. Didn't call it steering wheel, it's steering system, so who knows? I do recall that Tesla did an awful lot of work, and there's a, a video on this, it's about seven minutes long on YouTube, about virtual reality. You know in Iron Man, where Tony Stark, he's assembling the stuff, and he's doing all of this and moving it around and all that sort of stuff, just 
in the air. Well, they essentially, they pretty much, they invented that system for real. Three different versions of it. There's one where it's your um, traditional hollow glasses and you're seeing it that way. There's another one where I think it was like um, blowing up, say, steam, for instance, and the picture shows on that. And then there's like the traditional one where it shows on the screen uh, motion gestures from a distance like this. So who knows, we could be seeing something like that for the steering um, system for the Model 3. Either that, it's going to look like the SpaceX Dragon <laughs> for their control cluster, who knows. Anyway, guys, like I said, just a few more bits of Tesla news, both Model 3 related and the most recent delivery figures. We're expecting the updated total later today, um, 300, 400,000, who knows? Uh, Elon said he's going to have to rethink production planning uh, because it's all very well having all of those orders but they have to be able to be delivered uh, they have to be able to deliver them and as we know that has been an issue time of delivery in the past including obviously now with the model x in this most recent quarter given however although the three is a newer car it supposedly is going to be much less whistles and bells and a less complicated manufacturing process hopefully they won't have those same um, issues in ramping up production towards the end of next year. As you know, the Gigafactory is slightly ahead of schedule, whether or not that would mean there could be a slightly earlier start to deliveries of Model 3, so let's say Q3 2017 for the first couple of hundred on the West Coast, and then ramping up into Q4, who knows? Very exciting times ahead, obviously. I can't wait to see my first Model 3 in the wild. I don't know how many has been ordered here in the UK. I assume it was several thousands. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Anything you want to know about Tesla, any thoughts you've had about the Model 3, the delivery figures or what have you. I like the video.